The Bemidji City Council held a special work session to strategize and set goals for the next few years. Uh, Josh Peterson shows us how a restructuring of its employees may move one of the city's longest running tenants. Through a special work session, the city of Bemidji laid out its top priorities and challenges over the next three years. The conversation focused on everything from staffing to programming, but change could be in the future for one of the city's park tenants as the city of Bemidji looks at the possibility of moving the Department of Parks and Recreation to the Tourist Information Center. One of the things we've been talking about since the beginning of the year with the chamber is how that building is underutilized, and we noted that um, they're not adhering to the terms of the contract of when the ticket is supposed to be open. The Tourist Information Center is the welcome center for anyone who visits Bemidji's iconic statues. Currently, the Chamber of Commerce leases the space from the city of Bemidji and manages the Tourist Information Center and its staff on the city's behalf. Chamber President Lori Paris is retiring at the end of the year, which means even more change could be in store. I know some members of the chamber would like to focus on the meat and potatoes of the business community. Um, some love the symbolism of being involved in tourism and visitors. Some questions were raised about the possible move and how the daily children's programming would work with tourist information. You know, what activities are going to go and how does that perceive, how, how is that perceived by people that come in looking for adult information on the city of Bemidji? With a time of transition for Bemidji's Chamber of Commerce, only time will tell what other changes may be on the horizon. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. No timeline has been put in place as to when a decision needs to be made about the possible relocation of the chamber. The Bemidji Chamber of Commerce has been actively recruiting for its next chamber president. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.